Well hi guys, it's Emma again. Welcome back to Spare Room. This is just a quick video while I'm tidying up. It might be very productive and it might be of interest to some. There's a few people who have asked me what was in this Hemingway kit that I bought and what is included and what it looks like and lots of other questions. So this hopefully should answer that. We'll have a look at the castings and the bits that come with it. So First of all, there's a, a copy of the original drawings from 1960, Model Engineer, for the Mark II Kiwi, and construction notes. I have read them through several times before in the past, because I have these original magazines back in Tassie, but I've got a photocopy of them. That's fairly considerate of him to put them in. There's a sheet of paper and with mine there's two drawings. Now not everything's on the drawings I don't think, which is quite large format if you have a look. It's half the drawing. Basically, there's the there's the engine and all the bits in quite good detail. Crankcase there. On this side's the air cooled cylinder, and the head, con rod, um, the other half of the crankcase, and the balance weights there for the for the crank. This is sheet one of two, so there's nothing missing. And sheet two, which is also quite big, the same size, A1 I guess, shows things like the lubricator there and the cams and little fittings, breathers and caps, bush rods. It shows the camshaft angles and timing, valves, and on the other side, a bit more of a look at the cylinder head and the crankshaft, and rockers and flanges and things. So that's the drawings. They should be pretty simple to follow, I think. They're big enough to be able to see all the details. So proper paper drawings. These were shipped separately actually. Um, it was about a week away with these, two weeks, three weeks before they got here. But they come directly to Australia because he never had a set of drawings and there was one casting which is this one, which I believe is the, the float bowl that he never had, so they come in this box. There's a bit of paper that basically tells us what the what the materials do and what they're for. Basically being the I guess the um, the keyword here. Uh, everything's sort of colour coded. Mostly with cable ties. This blue bit there's got stainless steel it says and yellow which is over here is silver steel it says that that's high tensile aluminium and geranium I'm not sure what that's for the black is phosphor phosphor bronze the bushes and bearings, looks like a piece of copper in there as well. It says that some of the bits are colour coded green. It's a bit for the crankshaft though. Eh? 
and the rest is just materials. There's a piece of cast iron there, a nice piece of cast iron for the cylinder liner. Have a look. And the castings. So if we have a look at the castings, that's the Conrod obviously, I'm guessing. It's the balance weights that go on the crank, they look alright. This one I think is probably the carburetor. And this is your must be a flanges for your inlet or for the outlet or something like that. It's a nice nice casting. They all seem to be the sand cast, I think. You've got a mould line through them, but nice quality. This is the two halves of the crankcase. Uh, won't need a whole lot of cleaning up probably. They seem fairly nice. I can't see too many issues with them. Sorry about the, the dull light and the mess here. We're sort of in the middle of packing up. And some sign painting and numerous other jobs. But there we go. The next one that goes on that is the cylinder it's with fins. And the cylinder head goes on top of that, I think. It's nice too. This one's the cover that goes on the back here. This one will be the piston. Get you look down in there, nice clean casting. Float bowl, apparently. Um, timing arm. And a few other bits. There's two gears in a bag there. There's proper timing gears. They all look like to be the right ones. Nice looking gears. There's a brass or bronze one and a steel one. The crankshaft. We've got another bag with a couple of ball racers in it. They're nice looking ball racers. And reasonable quality looking things rather than skateboard bearings. And a couple of valve springs. This box here, with Hemingway kits written on it, have a bit of a look and flip it open, it's got the piston rings, so we'll be very careful and not actually break them I hope, when the time comes, but they'll be safe and put away in there. So everything's packaged pretty well, and it's a nice kit. Value for money? Probably. Uh, I can't see me going out and making castings that and patterns that nice and getting them cast and getting those sort of results first time round. There's a bit of work in those. The brass castings look really nice. And now my castings all look clean and nice this they got they got mold lines in them but they're all lined up pretty well I mean they're not far out there so certainly a lot better than castings I've seen from some places so what's involved in building it a lot more than I'm prepared to really undertake now to be honest there's a fair bit All this has to be turned into fairly small parts. The castings all need to be machined. And the things like two valves. So there's a bit of work in getting it to work, even in the crankshaft. And to be honest, it may not even happen this year, but I've saved myself on the freight getting it over here, so I'm pretty pleased about that. I had the space. And if someone else buys one and makes it, well, I'll be 
looking out for tips on your YouTube channel. So there's a challenge. Thanks for watching guys and girls and be kind to each other. There'll be some more soon. There's a bit happening. My Foot Boy engine's starting to come together nicely. Uh, need to make a stand for my shaper at some point. I'm on the lookout for a milling machine. That might happen at some point soon. I've got tools to put away here everywhere. I'm actually lettering flat out and doing a few little signs and things for people. And I'm at work, so it's pretty crazy. But anyway, take care and thanks for watching.